Hi, I'm Chelsea. Picture frames make a great gift for any occasion, whether it's a bridal shower or birthday party. And sure, you can pick up some pretty cute ones nowadays in the store, or you can do what we're doing today, and that's adding some personality to some old ones. My friend Shelby has some that she wants to give away as gifts, and we're gonna help her fix them up. Let's head out to the shop. All right, Shelby, we're making these for gifts, but do you have certain people in mind for them? Yes, I do. We're gonna do this one for a beach friend of mine. Okay. And I would love this one for my girlfriend who's having a little boy. Oh, that'll be perfect. Yeah, and this one for my sister. She just does stuff for me all the time, so I'm gonna do her a nice little surprise Aww, with this Oh, that'll one. be great. Yeah. Perfect, well, let's start with that one then. Okay. For our first picture frame, we'll use white spray paint, hot glue and a glue gun, burlap with a putty knife, three different colors of felt with a marker and scissors, and last we'll install a picture hanger with a hammer. All right, so we're gonna spray paint it to get rid of some of the dings and mm -hmm. then cover up these flowers so we can make our own flowers. Mm hmm because those are not attractive. No. <laughs> okay, so you wanna take the glass out. Okay. And I'll get the spray pan, shake it up. We're going for a fun, shabby, chic look, so we're using a paint and primer in one that has a low sheen satin finish. Great, so you want to keep it about 8 to 12 inches away and then okay. quick, short burst okay. and straight line. This is an oil-based paint, which dries to the touch in about 30 minutes, so we won't have to wait very long before moving on to the next step. So we're going to lay out the burlap now and we'll mark the center, cut that out, okay. glue it down, and then we'll cut the excess. I love burlap. I know, it's so versatile. Mm -hmm. Are you good at cutting? Yep. Probably okay. cut in... Well, yeah. Bam. Am I doing it wrong? Because this yeah. is, I just kind of do. I'm sure that I'm, I, I'm sure I do it wrong, but I just do it. As long as you make a line, I can stay on okay. the line. You passed first grade. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily for me, I'm working with someone who has already had a little crafting experience. Shelby and her husband recently created some picture frames from scratch to give to friends and family. When I was beginning to make my picture frames and really experimented with the burlap it's there are different so many different kinds mm -hmm. I just love the way that it really just adds just natural a little texture to anything and yeah color. all right you want to hand me the glue gun over okay there? Glue gun. Ooh. <laughs> and then I have the putty knife to push it down the hot glue is hot yeah hot glue is hot Okay, now we can cut this excess off. Since these frames are also gifts, we want them to be versatile, to be able to stand on a piece of furniture as well as hang on the wall, so we're adding a picture hanger on the back. Now we're ready to add our accent flowers. So now we're gonna make some flowers using this. Okay, I need a drink, so <laughs> excuse me, I'll That's be right cup. back. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, cool. But we're gonna make three flowers right here out of these different colors. So hmm. do you want to pick which color you want to be the big center flower? Yeah, I love um, I love teal. So okay, let's so you go want with this that. to be our big yeah. one. Mm -hmm. And then we'll make two small ones out of these. Mm -hmm. You want to trace our paint can? I can handle that. Onto our teal. <laughs> okay. See, I'm doing pretty good. So this is going to become a flower? Yes. Hmm. They look like circles to me. <laughs> Next, cut out the felt circles. When cutting them out, stay inside the line so that you won't see the marker line later. By the way, it helps to have a good pair of scissors for cutting felt. Can you sharpen scissors or you just have to yeah. buy a new pair? Mm -hmm. I once knew a professional scissor sharpener. Really? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you had me. <laughs> that was good. But you know, I bet they're out there for people I mean, who... I'm sure, yeah, people... Maybe do hair or crafting. Or, yeah, hair. Yeah, there we go. They're watching right now going, I can help you, I can help you. Comment below. <laughs> Once you have all three circles, begin cutting a spiral pattern. Cut into the circle about an inch or so and then continue to follow that pattern until you reach the end. I'm at the end of my rope. Creating the flower is pretty easy. Just start with the middle and begin wrapping it onto itself, like this. And yeah, you can see now why you should cut inside the marker line. I'll have to fix that later. To keep the flowers from unfolding, dab a little glue on the inside of the last fold before pressing it together. Also add some glue to the bottom of each flower before attaching it to the frame. That's super cute. This is gonna be precious. It looks like a totally different picture frame. Our flowers are so much better than the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, sister. Yeah, yeah. 
<gasps> Look. It's ready for gift wrapping. I love it. Next up is our whitewashed picture frame. For this frame, we'll need hot glue and a glue gun, painter's tape, some white spray paint, a decorative ribbon, and a picture hanger and hammer. This is a neat looking frame. Where'd you say you got these? Well, I made it. I wove it from a palm tree oh, myself. You're so no, I didn't. I got it from I got all of the frames from a thrift store. Oh, and okay. so yeah, I thought it had good potential. It just has a couple of little bubbos here mm -hmm. that need to be fixed. We can fix those pretty easily. Okay. You wanna grab the hot glue gun? Sure. Hot glue is great for making repairs. In this case, it's perfect for mending this woven material back together. Well, before we paint it, we want to cover up the glass because I noticed that this one, the glass is like attached in there. We'll just put some painter's tape over it. Shake it up, baby, now. Shake it up, baby. Are we ready? Yeah, spray it. But I thought for this one, since it has the brown to it, that we'd mm -hmm. spray it lightly. The brown showing through a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I see. I see. Once the paint is dry, we set the frame on its face and add a picture hanger to the center. All right, you did say it was for a baby boy, right? Yes. Oh, great, because we have this blue ribbon, which I, I think is adorable. I love that. Now we just need to tie it into a bow. I can do that. Awesome. I think. You think? <laughs> I made many, many bows at Christmas time, so. You can see Shelby's crafting experience paying off. And once the ribbon is tied into a bow, she trims the corner of each tail. To attach the bow to the frame, we're bringing back the hot glue gun. To keep the bow tails from hanging over the picture, we're dabbing a little glue on each side of the frame and pressing the tails into place. Wow, that looks great. Now onto our third and last picture frame. For this frame, we're going to use rope molding, a tape measure and a pencil, and a miter box and a handsaw, all-purpose adhesive for wood and metal, and we'll finish it off with some spray paint. This was for your friend who lives at the beach? Yes. Okay, well, I thought about adding some little detail to it. It's mm -hmm. kind of a little outdated and dirty, so we'd add some detail by gluing on some rope molding. What do you oh, think? Oh, cute. And then we'd spray paint it. Oh, nice. Yeah. I was about to say, because this is very, like, 80s. Yeah. yeah. If you have a metal frame like this and want to paint it, it's important to first clean any grime and residue from the metal so that the paint will stick. Okay, so this is the rope molding. It's kind of a, oh. it's from the craft store, so it's a little thinner than what you'd find at the home center. Oh, that's cool. Very beachy. Okay, from this little thingy on the outside uh -huh. to the thing on the outside is exactly seven. Okay, perfect. Each cut will be 45 degrees, so measure from corner to corner outside of the glass. This measurement will represent the short sides of the 45s you cut from the rope molding. Cut all four pieces to length, making sure that each inside angle matches up with the next. Then apply a little all-purpose glue before attaching each piece of molding to the frame. Once the glue has had sufficient time to dry, spray it with two coats of paint. And to cap it off, we're adding a picture hanger to this frame as well. Okay, let's see, this is the beach friend. Okay. Lives at the beach, and that's my husband, and we had a very fun time, so I just wanted to preserve the moment. I like how you kind of sneak yourself into your friend's home. So Absolutely. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> always. <laughs> Ta-da! <gasps> Yay! Oh, that looks great. Oh, that's gonna look good in her beach home. Yeah. Cute. Mm, this one's for my sister, Aww. and this is a an old, old, old so picture. So who's you? That's me. <laughs> that's my little sister when we took her home from the hospital. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh, that's great. Cute! Oh, it's perfect. I love it. And the blue matches my blue Winnie the Pooh shirt I was wearing at the time. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> we knew that. <laughs> This is for a baby boy, but you have a picture this, of a girl. Yes, I do. This is my <laughs> sweet friend, Maggie. This is her little girl, but she's about to have a baby boy. Uh, okay. When uh, Maggie has her baby boy, she can change it out or whatever she wants or to do. Or then the boy will have a picture of his big sister That's in right. his room. The things you find at the thrift store. Let's see. Oh, how sweet. Yay. Awesome. My friends are going to love me. Yeah, they are. Good job. <laughs> I love you. Thanks for helping. <laughs> this is great. I'm so excited. They look good. I've got so many projects to share with you, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next episode.